Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to another reading here on my channel. So in today's reading we are asking the tarot and oracle cards how your life will look like three months from now based on your zodiac sign. And we will work with the zodiac sign your sun was in on the day you were born. So the sign that you would answer if someone asks you what zodiac sign you are basically. For example, I was born in March, so I would listen to the reading for my lovely Pisces out there. And this time I will split the reading into three videos because I really want to take the time to provide you guys a detailed reading, but doing all 12 zodiac signs is a lot. So I hope this is okay. And we will start with the first four zodiac signs. And as always, a quick disclaimer before we get started. Please do not take this reading as a substitute for counseling. Also, the reading is not here to tell you that you should do anything. You always have free will and you are the powerful creator of your own reality. And now without further ado, let's see what the tarot cards have to tell you. Hello my beautiful Arias, this is your reading, so let's see what the tarot cards have to tell you. So for you we have the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. Okay, so my first thought when I saw these three cards was that you are going to be in a position where you will be able to share and give back to others. This could also be in the form of doing charity work. And if you know me, you know that I don't sugarcoat things, so I will just tell you what I think. So to me it's interesting that the Ten of Swords is reversed next to the King of Pentacles, which is also reversed. And first of all, I think you've been working very hard for the last few months on a project or something that you'd like to make your source of professional income. But I'm also getting a sense of impatience here and to me it feels like you may have given more than you had because if the King of Pentacles was upright, then to me that would mean that you're already able to give away from what you've earned, right? Or doing charity work or something like this because you already had enough or have enough, like money, but also your health and that you are in a stable position in general. But reverse to me it means, and how do I say it in English? that you've been living beyond your means kind of. For example, you wanted to start a YouTube channel but you didn't have the right camera yet and even though it didn't really fit into your budget financially this month or this time, you bought the camera because you really wanted to advance your business and offer better content to your followers, right? That's the kind of situation that I think about here. But I feel like not only when it comes to your financial means, I feel like you have been giving like 200% and because of that you also felt drained the last weeks and months. But for the majority of you guys, I think that the former example applies. Like living beyond your financial means basically. And please don't get me wrong, I'm not judging or anything like that. I think sometimes we just have phases where we want things to move forward as soon as possible. For me, this is always when I have Jupiter aspects in my transits. The important thing is to really balance out this energy again, right? And I think that three months from now you will release this impatience and as a result just enjoy the process of the creation of your dreams. I kind of get the feeling that your project or business actually could be related to donating or doing charity work. Like for example, starting a business to recycle clothes or something like that. Because I feel like that you guys really want to contribute to the well-being of our planet and leave your footprint in the most positive way. So I really get this ambitious energy and the need to help people from these cards. And you know I'm currently reading a ton about Ikigai, which is basically your reason of being and the reason why you wake up every single morning. It's kind of a Japanese, Japanese philosophy. And Kelly Morita explained that it is not what you are doing, which would be Yarigai, but what you are embodying. And I feel like that you guys are finally reawakening your Ikigai, so you no longer look at your dreams from a point of 
I want to make money with XYZ, but rather I want to help people while I share my unique skills, right? And I feel like that this aha moment where you realize your ikiga is the moment when your life just starts to move again, to shift again. Because with the King of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed, I do feel like that you guys may have felt stuck for quite a while now, but that new opportunities will show up and things will just start to make so much fun while creating them. And I also feel like that this may have rooted in your desire to help and share, but you were not really sure how to, right? You know, I have been in this position for nearly a decade and I so desperately wanted to contribute and do something meaningful, but I didn't know how. And I got totally stuck because I tried so hard to find something that would help me to help others, basically. And by doing tarot readings and astrology readings, I finally feel unstuck and I just enjoy the process without being too fixed on the material outcome of what I'm doing. If this makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, I think you guys will kind of reawaken into your ability to help with your being and your skills. And by that you can heal because our Ten of Swords is reversed. So I do get the feeling of release and that a great burden falls from your shoulders. So our next card is the Healer of the Ages reversed. And again, we have the number six because five plus one equals six, right? And in numerology, six can mean unconditional love and healing. And for me, it is also all about success. But this card reversed also is about taking the time to look at your own well-being. And I think it's beautiful that you want to contribute and help others, but your own well-being is just as important, you guys. And it is also said that you should always put on your own oxygen mask before helping others, right? So yeah, I feel like you guys will take the time for yourself to find back into your own power three months from now. Not only physically, but also mentally is what I get. And we have two reversed masculine energies here with the King of Pentacles and the Healer of the Ages reversed. So yeah, I really think this is your sign that you will take a step back and let things kind of go more easy, like not rush things anymore. So our next two cards are body and choice. And I just want to tell you what they say on the back. Your body deserves your love and worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome. We just put them here. So, yeah, I feel like that for you, your body deserves your attention and love and time to heal is what these cards want to say. I feel like that in three months from now, you actively make the choice to rest and heal and nourish your body in the most positive and loving way. And I feel like that you have been trying to find this one solution that is best for all. But you start to realize that when you focus on yourself and heal yourself, everything around you will heal as well. And that is okay to prioritize yourself first, right? And you guys, I have been struggling to accept this for so long. I thought I have to take care of everyone around me to a point where it just burned me out totally. And I feel like you are releasing the need to do so and step into self-love and self-acceptance that will help you to heal and manifest your desires with so much more flow than you have ever seen in your life. So I just want to take a look at our astrology card next and we have house five. And this is so beautiful you guys because the fifth house is about fun and passion and playing and it also represents children and creativity and it is related to the fire element which fits the energy of your zodiac sign right so yeah again i think that in three months from now you will be so fulfilled by what you are doing simply because of the act of creation and having fun and letting out your inner child so that your life will shift in the most beautiful way is what I want to say 
And when you look at our little bird here in the like card in the astrology card, he is singing and looking happy as like fuck <laughs> without an obvious reason, right? Because he's just singing and like just enjoying. So you guys will reawaken your ikigai, your purpose, as I said before, and this will shift your vibration to so much gratitude and joy. And our last card is the wildflower card and it says live an uncontrolled life free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing. This fits so well. <laughs> So you are like this beautiful wildflower that just blooms everywhere and I think you are breaking out of this thought pattern that your life has to be a certain way in order to be happy and in three months you will embody this energetic and passionate energy that will make people look at you in a positive way because they are so attracted to your radiant energy and this also gives me the feeling of a new start in some way that will further help you get into this playful and loving energy even more so this is all i have for you guys i hope it was helpful i hope it resonated with you and if it did then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel for more weekly tarot readings witchy unboxing videos and more and don't forget to shine your beautiful light out into the world because you are needed more than ever right now so see you in the next video. Bye! My beautiful Taurus, so this is your reading, so let's see what the tarot cards have to tell you. And for you we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed, we have the Seven of Wands reversed and the Ace of Swords reversed. So when I look at these cards I feel like that you guys will kind of recharge your batteries and come out after an energetic and creative slump. Is what I want to say. I feel like that you may have felt bored or kind of stuck in your own routine to a point where you felt like every single day is the same, right? And when our days keep repeating themselves over and over again, we don't feel inspired anymore and I feel like also our creativity just stagnates and we don't have inspiration anymore and we cannot really come up with new innovative ideas, right? Because Honestly, when I sit at my desk for too long and sometimes I work for like three days straight without going outside and I know it's bad, but then I don't really have any creative ideas anymore. And the moment I step outside and see the trees and the sky and the clouds and the sun, suddenly so many ideas pop up into my head. So yeah, I do feel like that you guys felt quite bored in every aspect of your life even, is what I would say. And with the Ace of Swords, I do feel like that you guys are full of energy, but you don't really know where to put it because you felt like you lost all of your creativity in the past weeks or even months. And the Knight of Pentacles reverse can also indicate that you don't really have the drive to do something, right? Like the motivation or even no clear goal in front of you. But I also feel like that this is rooted in your routines and because your days seem to repeat every single day. And I think it was in Joe Dispenza's book where he wrote that when our routines are always the same, then we automatically go into autopilot and things just keep happening over and over again. And I feel like that in the past two months you felt like that your life will never change and you felt like on our autopilot a lot. And I think it was the gem goddess that said in one of her videos, if you leave a goldfish in the same environment like you never change things up in his little glass bowl, he will literally go crazy. And in Germany we also say it's time for a change of scenery kind of. I hope I translated that so the meaning comes across. But yes, sometimes we need a new scenery to recharge our batteries and inspiration. And this can just mean going into a cafe to work there instead of working home or reading in the park instead of reading on our couch, right? So try to make small changes in your life to get out of this predictable routine because I do feel like that you guys are overflowing with power and inspiration and ideas if you just allow it to flow and change things up. 
and I just heard the phrase why bother in my mind. So yeah, I think you guys felt kind of hopeless because you felt like that nothing is going to change for you. And the seven of wands reversed right next to the knight of pentacles reversed for me can also indicate that you guys worked so much in the past weeks to kind of escape your routines or you hope to escape your routines and this boredom and now you feel overwhelmed and also these two cards give me a feeling of kind of feeling defeated like okay all of this work didn't help to get out of this feeling like of being bored so now what and with the knight of pentacles reversed i think that maybe you guys had a goal that you wanted to achieve in your mind for this year like something you wanted to manifest for example your own online class or something like that but I feel like that there was a lack of really going to the core of the goal. Like really taking a look at this goal, defining your why and how, and then make a detailed plan for it, right? Because when we don't define our why and plan the necessary steps, it is so easy to get lost in our like way, in our things, and stop pursuing our goal. And maybe also you had to defend your idea a lot, to like friends and family members and because they couldn't really understand why you wanted to do what you wanted to do basically but again with our ace of swords here i really think that in three months from now you will just overflow with new ideas and inspirations you can put into action then and the ace of swords is all about new ideas and i also feel like that these ideas will be in alignment with what your purpose is because I think a lot of the time we feel bored or frustrated and not motivated because something is not true for us or in alignment with what our higher self wants for us. And our ego still thinks this is the thing, but after some time we lose motivation because it was just not the right thing, right? And look how she is holding her sword to the sky. like. She is receiving an upgrade from the universe, is what I kind of heard. As if the universe is like, here, take this idea and turn it into something beautiful that makes you fulfilled and happy and then radiate this happiness and fulfillment into the world, right? And this image really reminds me of some scenes in anime I used to watch as a child, like right before the main hero received some kind of energy to defeat the enemy, right? I hope you know what I mean, but. I'm just really reminded of this right now. And now let's take a look at our self-care cards. And we have the Rebel card and we have the Power card. And this is such a strong energy, you guys, right? Because from all of the cards I could have picked for you, it is these two together. <laughs> and I just want to read what the cards say. And it says, it's time to celebrate the fact that you don't fit in. Stand on your own two feet. And the ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is own your power. I think that in three months from now, you will have this breakthrough where you are like, okay, I don't care anymore what people think of me. I will just do what I want, say what I want when I want and dress how I want is also what I feel like. And I don't know why, but this also gives me kind of glow up vibes. You know, I think of these transformations like on TikTok where people show themselves without makeup and then they wear this kind of badass makeup. I hope you know what I mean. I'm so bad at describing, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I feel like you will, as the card says, own your power back. And I also feel like that this new idea that our ace of swords here indicates from before will be the reason of this transformation maybe you will be your own boss finally or you are just in general so confident in your own skin and you show this like for example online and you talk about body positivity or something like that and i talked about this in my podcast but a lot of people are afraid to say no because they are afraid of judgment from others and what other people will think. But it is okay to say no and it is okay to protect your own boundaries or say no if you don't want to do something. 
And I also feel like that this could be related to what you wanted to do and people told you that you are never going to make it or that there is too many people on the market doing what you want to do or these kind of things, right? And I feel like you will start to speak up for yourself and become crystal clear on your vision and mission and why you want to do what you want to do and then communicate it to the outside and not hold back anymore because you are not afraid anymore that other people could judge you and your ideas basically. So this is really powerful you guys. <laughs> And now let's take a look at our astrology card and we have house four. So with this card, again, I feel like that you guys are outgrowing your limiting thoughts. And because we have the fourth house, that is the house for family and where we feel safe and comfortable, like our environment, our apartment, our house, whatever it is. I think that these limiting belief systems are rooted in the way you grow up. Now I'm not saying the way you grew up is bad, I feel like that in most cases our parents really do their best to raise and protect us and Marissa Peer talks a lot about this if you want some really good advice on these kind of things as well as Joe Dispenser and so many more. But we learn most of our belief systems in the first seven years of our life, so for example Let's say you are a young child and you go outside to play without telling your parents and you are just happy and have fun while playing and then your parents find you and yell at you because of course they were worried like when they could not find you, right? So this is just the first example that I could think about but maybe after this experience you feel like that you are not allowed or even not able to decide and do things on your own. And you keep this belief system until you are an adult and now maybe still believe that you need the permission or acceptance from your parents to do something, right? And I hope this makes sense and you get what I mean. But I think in three months from now you will release this kind of limiting belief systems that are rooted in your childhood and you will adapt new empowering beliefs. So. Next we also have the Temple Path and this card is a confirmation that you are on your spiritual path and you are on the right way you guys and that everything you experience right now helps you to grow into your highest self and to develop your superpower and also that you are guided and protected from your spirit guides and ancestors and whatever you feel like is right for you. And our last card is the success card and it says bloom wherever you are planted. So yes you guys you are starting to grow roots into the earth and become unshakable and I think in three months you will start to feel this shift and just feel full of motivation and power basically. So this is all I have for you. I hope it was helpful and I hope it resonated with you. And if it did, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel for more weekly tarot readings, witchy unboxing videos and more of this good stuff. And don't forget to shine your beautiful light out into the world because you are needed now more than ever. So see you in the next video. Bye! Hello my beautiful Gemini! This is your reading, so let's see what the tarot cards have to tell you. And for you we have the Eight of Wands reversed, we have the Three of Cups reversed and we have the Eight of Cups. So we have the Eight two times in this reading so far. And what is interesting to me is that I think so far all of the piles had two reversed cards and one card upright, like in this exact order. Like this is really interesting to me. And the message I receive from this is that in three months from now you will make a decision that is related to your surroundings. This could mean that you are moving on, literally spoken, because you don't feel like where you are right now is helping you grow as a person. But this could also mean that you leave toxic friendships behind. And I also kind of get a feeling of disappointment from this deck when it comes to the people you know. So 
maybe there was a situation where your friends disappointed you in a way and that has made you feel stirred up inside. I hope this is the right word to use here. And when we look at the witch in our Eight of Cups card, it looks like that she takes her belongings and her little lucky cat here and then turns her back to what is behind her. And the Eight of Cups in general means to leave a situation that is not fulfilling you emotionally anymore. And you know, I get the feeling that your friends could have said something behind your back that you didn't expect or they were kind of excluding you from group activities that you usually did together. And this is a general reading, so of course this will not resonate with everyone who is watching this. But from the overall energy of this pile, I do feel like that this is an important message that wants to come through. This could also relate to your career, like where you feel like things are not moving forward and that you don't feel included by your work colleagues. Maybe they meet up after work, but they don't ask you to join, like something like this. And I know that this message may be a little bit harsh, but with the Eight of Cups, I feel like you're coming out of these situations stronger than ever before. And you are realizing what it is that you really want in your life and that you don't want to settle for situations that aren't in alignment with your highest self and your emotional needs anymore. And one thing I really want to stress here is that it is really important to not take things personally. You know, when I was younger and even to this day, I take things so personal. And I always think that ABC happened because of me, but I really want you to not take anything personal. And I believe that sometimes, how do I put this? I believe that sometimes we are faced with certain situations to learn from and to recognize our self-worth and then grow from them. And I know that this is not a satisfying answer at all when you are in such a situation. And I can speak from experience. Like I was in this kind of situation during my studies and I didn't want to go partying with three girls. I was hanging out back then because I just didn't like parties. Like I partied enough when I was younger. So it was like, I don't want to party anymore. And they were partying every single weekend. And then because I said no, they excluded me from their group, they ignored me or talked badly about me. And then I decided for myself that I'm worth more and that I don't need something like that anymore. Like if they cannot accept me the way I am, then why should I stick to them, right? So please remember that you are really beautiful the way you are. And even though it sounds cheesy, you don't have to change for anyone except you. So when the Eight of Wands is upright, usually it is a really fast energy and things are moving forward in life. Now, as I said here, the Eight of Wands is reversed. So I think you currently feel like nothing is progressing as if life is standing still, right? And with these three tarot cards, it could also mean in general that you have a project or something in your life that may be delayed or canceled. And maybe it is because these delays want to show you that it is time to move on, right? That you learned everything that needs to be learned and now you can follow a new path that will fulfill you even more. So even if you feel stuck now, really be patient and focus on the things that are good in your life right now and fuel the positive thoughts and things in your life. That's really what I want to emphasize here. So our next two cards are decision and friend. And what did we just talk about? So the friend card says, be as good a friend to yourself as you are to others. And sometimes the best decision is no decision at all. So yeah, maybe you guys didn't show yourself enough love in the last weeks or even month and you felt bad because of what was going on with some people around you, like what we just talked about, right? And I don't know if this is a common saying, but we used to say back in the day when I was younger, like, would you treat your best friend the way you treat yourself, right? And I think this is really what this card is talking about. If your best friend tells you about a situation where... They are not happy and don't feel good anymore. 
then you would probably tell them to get out of the situation and cheer them up and telling them that they are perfect and beautiful the way they are and that nothing is wrong with them, right? But I feel like when it comes to ourselves, and I also include myself here because I do this all the time, then we cannot really follow our own advice we just gave to another person, right? So start treating yourself like you are your best friend, you guys. Start following your own advice and be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself and be proud of yourself, even if you are not where you thought you will be in, I don't know, a year or so. But please be patient and be proud of how much you already achieved. And the decision card, as I said, says sometimes the best decision is no decision at all. So yes, yeah, sometimes this may be true, especially if we are, well, we could act impulsively and it could be that we regret our decision later on. But I feel like that only you know what resonates here in this case. Like if you think that you should be patient and not take any action, then of course do so. But if you waited like long enough and you put yourself in a situation that is not giving you back anything emotionally anymore, then you don't have to stick with it. So next we have our astrology card and it is Taurus. And again, you guys, listen to your own voice and see if where you are is still in alignment with you or not, is what I kind of get from this card. And look at these roses here growing out of the heart, right? So for me, this means that sometimes there are hardships in life that is just how it is. Like we move through the wheel of fortune and sometimes life goes up, sometimes life goes down and this is just normal. Like think of a flower. Sometimes there is sunshine and sometimes there is rain and storm but the flower still keeps growing, right? So I feel like this card wants to confirm that you guys are patient or that you guys should be patient with yourself that you give yourself the time you need to figure out what it is that you want in life and what you deserve. And even if you cannot make a decision right now that is totally okay, please be patient with yourself, but show yourself the love you want other people to show you as well. And Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus is the planet of beauty as you probably all know. So do what makes you feel beautiful and happy and shift your focus on the good things in life. And I feel like that in three months from now, you will come to this point where you accept that you are this beautiful flower that is allowed to grow with its own speed. So that is really beautiful, you guys. And our next card is victory. So. You will achieve what you always dreamed of, you guys. No matter if it is this project you've been working on or moving cities or countries or meeting new people. But from the general reading here, I really feel like that in three months from now, you will feel like a totally different person. Like you are suddenly so fulfilled and you just feel strong. So it's what I kind of get from this card and I just want to see what our little message card says and it says relax delight and powdered gold sunshine well this part is really all about patience and relaxation right and we also have gold in our victory card here as well so maybe wearing gold jewelry or the color gold in general like decoration or like your clothes could help you get into the state of self-love and self-empowerment and you know, when I wear my crystal necklaces or my like bracelets and rings, I feel like a goddess and I know it sounds cheesy, but I feel like this is something that really comes to, or wants to come through that could help you. And we also talked about the flower that is growing even if there is rain, right? So I feel like in three months from now, there will be sunshine and you feel like you can achieve anything because we again have like sunshine here. So trust in yourself and be patient with yourself. I really wanted to highlight this once more. But this is all I have for you guys. I really hope this reading was helpful and it resonated with you. If it did, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more weekly tarot readings, witchy unboxing videos and more of this good stuff. 
and don't forget to shine your beautiful light out into the world because you are now needed more than ever. So see you in the next video. Bye! Hello my beautiful Cancer. So this is your reading, so let's see what the tarot cards have to tell you. And as always we start with your tarot cards and for you we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Sun and we have the World Reversed. So this is interesting you guys. So my first thought was that in three months from now you guys will be surrounded by new friends that make you feel joyful and uplifted. And I don't know why but I feel like that maybe in the weeks or months like before you were a lot on your own but you consciously decided to create this kind of wall for yourself because you just needed time for yourself. And the seven of swords usually can mean a betrayal in some way or getting away with something but with the sun card here next to the seven of swords I don't get a negative feeling. I don't know, I kind of get the feeling that, you know, maybe there was a situation where a friend turned out to be not your friend and after that you decided to stay away from meeting new people or something like that. But look how the person here is looking to the people celebrating in the field full of sunflowers, right? So I feel like for you guys in three months from now, it will be more of coming out of a nutshell again like opening up to the possibility of meeting new people and making new friends again and also trust them again. And I feel like that you consciously make the decision to not run away from your feelings anymore and to really allow them to show up. And for me the seven of swords here could also indicate that you consciously decided to be on your own for some time but not because of a situation where you felt betrayed or hurt in the past. Like again, this is a general reading and some things may resonate with you and some things may resonate with other who watch this video. But for me, it is more like a feeling that you really wanted to discover things on your own and try things out without people knowing it for now. Kind of, if this makes sense. Like, let's say when you want to start playing the piano, but you are not sure if it is the right thing for you. So you just start without telling someone and if you don't like it, you can just skip it again without people knowing it, right? Like when I made my driver's license, everyone told me to not tell anyone because if I failed, I would not have to feel bad and tell everyone. I'm not sure if this was really useful because subconsciously I already thought to myself that I will fail. But at least I didn't have to tell anyone from the school when I failed the first time. Like, okay, except my friends that also took driving lessons at this exact driving school. Because when you failed, you got a red umbrella. So these kind of friends knew. But other than that, no one knew. But yeah, I get the feeling that for most of you guys, this will be the case. That you kind of went through this period where you just secretly tried out a lot of things because you just wanted to see what makes you happy without the fear of being judged or something, right? And we have two major arcana cards here, so I really think that this time was really important for you to learn more about your higher self and your wishes and desires. And it seems like you are, in quotes, putting yourself out into the world again. And I also get the feeling that you are again full of energy because you finally feel like that you are starting to get in alignment with your true self and people around you will notice this change, this shift. And the sun card in this deck really gives me this feeling of such a high frequency, like that other people are just attracted to you by only looking at you, right? And I also feel like that because you started to align with your higher self, you will attract people into your life that can accompany you on your path and that are just good friends so you can rely on them. And I also kind of get the feeling that you turn into this radiant magnet that is attracting even more abundance and love and joy and happiness into your life because you just radiate it out into the world, right? Now, with the world reversed, for me in this reading means that you will continue to see what is in alignment with your true self. 
as I said earlier, you kind of went on this journey and life is a journey that is always evolving and you are evolving as well with every opportunity and obstacle that shows up in your life, right? So yeah, I do get the feeling that you will continue to act in alignment with your true self and to show up in this world authentically. You keep learning to see what makes you feel happy and whole and connected and then do more of that. And with the scenery here in like the three cards, I especially feel like that you choose the people who surround you carefully from like now on. Like, you know, when you have friends that support you and just make you happy and you can laugh with them and you realize how good it feels and that you deserve these beautiful connections. And maybe you think about toxic relationships from your past and you decide for yourself that you don't want these anymore. And our next two cards are truth and security. And the truth card says, truth is different at different levels of consciousness. Preserve judgment. And our security card says, true security comes from having a reserve of time, space, energy, personal power and love. Make deposits in all of these accounts and you'll be a wealthy person indeed. So yeah, I think you develop a different level of consciousness where you just develop also different thought patterns and where you start to address your own needs and where you understand what your own needs are in general. And you also start to tell you a different story is what I get. Like a story that you know is true now, if this makes sense. And also with the symbolism in like our truth card here. For me, this can also mean a spiritual awakening or another one if you already had uh, a spiritual awakening. And honestly, I think this is such a beautiful message to be at this point where you know it is true what you tell yourself. Because I think this is one of the tricky things when it comes to affirmations. Because you keep telling you something, you, like you keep telling yourself something, but you cannot really believe it yourself, right? And that's why, in my opinion, affirmations always have to be true or feel true inside of you. And I feel like that in three months from now, you will really believe yourself when you tell yourself something. When you tell yourself that you are powerful and beautiful the way you are and that you deserve only the best. I feel like you will really believe yourself because you just developed this different story about you. And with our security card, I feel like you are starting to feel secure with yourself. Like with spending time with yourself and consciously making the time for yourself. And you also understand that you need this time and space to recharge your batteries and your personal powers or regain them. And when you are full of love, you can give love to other people, right? I feel like this is also something that wanted to come through. And I also think that the thought of receiving back what you give to the world will kind of be your mantra. Like you just start to get into this flow and you feel good of giving your love and light because you receive it back equally and you truly show up for yourself. So this is really beautiful, you guys. And next we have our astrology card with the quality fixed. So again, this means that you are reaching a point in life where you feel secure and things are stable and where you know that when you stick to your path, everything you desire will unfold naturally and where you start to set clear intentions and trust in yourself and your path. And what's interesting for me is that we have two images of a hand, like in the truth card and in our astrology card. So maybe palm reading could be something that is relevant for you in the next month. Or crafting something or doing something with your hands in general. This could also be like drawing or gardening, which could be relevant on your like upcoming path. And our next card is the angel of love. So this card to me indicates that 
because you are so in alignment with yourself and showing up for your needs and understanding your own beauty and loving yourself, this could mean that you are meeting a significant other if you are single right now or develop a deeper connection with your partner if you are in a relationship right now or also a friend comes into your life that you just connect on a deep level and it just feels like you have known each other for years but yeah in general i feel like that you start to attract beautiful connections into your life you guys and our last card says play among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover and this to me means that you uncover your true self more and more like again what we just said you start to uncover your true self and maybe find talents that you didn't even know you have and when you remember the sun card from our tarot cards which is like below these cards this card is all about playing and having fun and letting out your inner child like to dance to sing to play an instrument or to go for a walk in nature these kind of things like try to get into a playful mode where you can just release this inner child and discover more of who you truly are but i feel like in three months from now you will naturally be in the state or things will naturally start to show up on your way so you can get into this kind of inner child mode into this playful happiness mode but yeah this is all I have for you guys. I really hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel for more weekly tarot readings, witchy unboxing videos and more of this good stuff. And don't forget to shine your beautiful light out into the world because you are needed now more than ever. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!